Hi everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw the Heavy Armor Mandalorian. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. So for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, I know where I want to put him. I just got to get him there. So how's everybody liking the show? Yeah, uh, you know what? I don't know when I'm going to be posting this. So it may be over by now. I don't know. Or at least this season, you know. But uh, I, I, it's awesome. It's awesome so far. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let me try to think of... Let's see. I'm going to draw the big gun. And the way it's... Uh, Let's see. There we go. So it's going to kind of be over itself uh, in certain parts because the gun is going to be, you know, so big and he's going to be holding it. Let's see. It's got the, it's got a handle in the back. We can put his hand over that. And then this will be the armor piece. Armor piece over like that. Let's see. And his arm will kind of. Wrap over like this. Now I'll come to this one. And so yeah, so so the way I'm gonna have it, um, I kind of have him with his hand over the the handle that is holding the gun. So I kind of have to. Uh, um, What's the word I'm trying to say? I need to work on my perspective because a lot of it's covering itself. And I kind of, I know I'm kind of just, you know, saying silly words right now, but it's just because of the way the, the uh, gun is, it's going to be over his, his body, you know? So I'm trying to think of the right places to put it so I can aim it all correctly. And... Something like that. Yeah, I think that'll be good enough. Okay, and so normally I always say don't go into the details until you, you've got everything else sketched out. So I just got to finish up the body real fast, and then we'll get going with the details. A bit too much would have been there. Okay. All right, that looks good to me. Let's get this one going in here. All right. So, yeah, you know what I, re I really wish about the show is I wish the characters were in it more. So, like, uh, you know, like the uh, Kuel and and uh, Cara Dune, you know, I, I, I wanted them in more than just one or two episodes. And I get it, they're mixing it up. They're, they're testing their grounds right now. They're seeing what's, uh, what's sticking and what people are liking, you know? So I get it, but everybody's such a good character that I want to see more, you know? That's, that's kind of the downside, but... You know, again, it, it, we're getting tons of awesome characters, so I'm, I'm not going to complain. Although that's exactly what I was just doing, right? Complaining. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that might be good enough um, for a rough, rough design. The details I'm gonna have to work on with the uh, sharpie and work them in as I go. Okay. So I think I think this is gonna count. Yeah, I think I think I'm ready to go. There's the part in the back that you can't quite see. It's gonna be coming up here. It's gonna load in at the bottom. Okay. I think I'm good with my sketch. Let me erase some of the stuff that I got a little dark with. You may not be able to see it, but again, this sketch is for me. I know you can't see this stuff. This is all for me to uh, to start working my Sharpies in. I've got to give myself a little something to work with, so 
That's what that is. So, all right, I'm good. I'm good. So I say we we jump over to the Sharpie section, and I say we welcome all the the people that skipped over to the Sharpie section of the video. Welcome, skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do one of these every single day. Well, not a Mandalorian. I do a drawing every day and you can join along and have some fun with me. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point and can find the things that the fine point can't quite find. Ooh, yeah, I got it right. So, I'm going to do just a little bit of detail. I've sketched the entire thing out and then I've erased the darker lines, so I've got just a ghost of an image to play with. And so, I'm going to add just some tiny details and then come back with the big sharper, the big sharper fine point sharpie that's bigger than this. But I want to get a few of these fine details in real quick before we get started. So I'm going to draw the bottom of the armor like this just to kind of give me some guide spots. And then I'm going to start drawing the lines in. Now, if these don't come out straight, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just draw it as straight as you can. Because look, that one's bigger than that one, so I'm already wrong. You know, I already messed it up. So don't worry about it. Don't freak out over stuff like that. It's going to happen. And it's okay that it happened. So, okay, so I'm going to start to bring the, the visor over like this. I'm going to go up. And let's do both sides. And see, that one didn't come out straight. That's very, very jagged. Very jaggedy. Um, okay, and even, even though the lines are, are off, you know, but it's okay. I'm doing it the way I draw, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Okay, so, let me draw this line over like this. I'm going to thicken it up a little bit, too. It's hard for me, because I can't turn my paper. But, that's, that's, that's the life I chose. Taped paper. Okay, so I'm thickening some of the edges up, kind of, kind of, uh, fixing my mistakes to try to even it all out, okay? All that's going to be colored in black, so I'm not too worried about that. So now, i got to worry about a few of the tinier details. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and draw the outer edges and then work our way back in. So, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to draw this edge over here. And I'm going to probably come back with a bigger Sharpie and make that thicker. Or I can make it thicker here, we'll see. And uh, mo mostly I'm giving myself start-stop points. So I'm kind of playing around with, with what I know is going to be a line in his mask. And uh, kind of give it, I'm going to give it like a, another dimension, another level to it, because it's it's so beveled, you know? I'm not going to do this for everything, I just kind of want to do it for a few of these spots. And sometimes it's almost impossible to do for everything, but he's got some very specific features to his mask. All the Mandalorians do, you know? So I kind of wanted to uh, um, honor that, uh, because it is the way. <laughs> Get it, Mandalorian joke right there. So, I'm just kind of thickening up some of the lines, adding another level to it like that. You see, sometimes it'll bleed through like that too, so we can't quite get anything, everything anyway, you know? Okay. So if you can get those extra levels in like that, go for it. If not, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna look good. Okay. Alright, and I think that might be all I'm going to do with a finer detail. Maybe I'll, you know, I'm going to do one more little thing. Let me try to go across like this. Like that. And I'm going to do another one over here once we define the top of the head. So, let me work with this Sharpie now. So, I'm going to draw the rest of his mask going over like this. And let's see if we can kind of figure out a good spot for it. So, he's going to have this side over here with this little communicator thing sticking out of his head. Don't know what it is. But it's robotish. You know, it's it's maskish. So I'm just gonna kinda do something like this just to kinda give it some some uh, uh, space space looks to it. Some space feel. You know, something like that. Okay, so that gives me an edge to play with here. So now I'm gonna draw his head over like this. I'm going to draw a little bump for the line I was going to draw. 
and come back around and connect it like that. Okay? Not quite perfect, you know, could be better, but I like it. I'm happy. Okay, draw that center mark like that. Leave it like this. We'll let color take care of the rest of those little bumps and nooks and crannies. And draw something over like this. And then more, more space parts, you know? Like that. And a big old, big old honking piece like this. I'm gonna add just a little bit of a, an edge to it like that, just to give it another feel. Okay, and I'm gonna build off of this. So now I can see a little bit of his neck, so I'm gonna draw a little bit like that. Or I, I, we'll, we'll see a little bit of his neck from the angle that he's at. And so now I'm gonna draw his armor. And his armor I've got just kind of coming over here like this. And the way his shoulders are, got one piece like this going down, the other one like this going down, okay? So, let's see. So his gun's gonna be in the way of a lot of what he's doing here. So I'm gonna draw, Let's see, he's got a little piece sticking out like this. Again, a lot of cool detail to them. So I'm gonna come down here, touch that. And there's a lot of uh, armor pieces that connect and have this detail and all this fun stuff, but we're not gonna get all that in there. We're just gonna do a, a few of the small details just to have uh, something in there, you know? And color will take care of a lot of stuff like that. So let's build the arm out here to go across to the gun and then we can have a position to work with, okay? So he's gonna have his shoulder piece, something like this, the, his uh, his armor, basically, and it's over his arm, so we're seeing just the top back side of it. Like that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so the way I have his arm positioned, you can only see the top side. So, his arm's coming down, and his elbow's gonna be about right here, but again, his arm is bent into what he's doing, and so now I'm gonna draw his other piece, uh, his, his uh, forearm piece, like this, into the hand, okay? So, I'm gonna come down here, connect it like that, we'll finish up the elbow like this, I'm going to draw just a few little details, you know, to give it give it that mech, that uh, that hard edged armor look. And um, just a few little you know, nooks and crannies of of cool detail, you know. Um, okay, so underneath that is, is pretty much just, you know, uh, material. So I'm going to kind of do something like this just to give it that, that, uh, cloth look, you know, because it's not armor. And then we can draw the hand. Now the hand I've got over, uh, the handle. So we're pretty much only seeing this side right here. Kind of like as if the handle was like this and you're only like this and you're only seeing like that end right there. So we're not, we're not having to draw too much here. We just have to make sure we get it right um, perspective wise. So I'm going to go ahead. I know this is a no, no, just floating stuff. What I try to just, I try to always give you something to, to start and stop with. So I'm going to draw the handle like this. And that's where it's going into the gun. And that's going to give you your start stop point. So your, your, uh, uh, let's see, his wrist is like that. So this is the meat of the hand coming over like that. And then his fingers are going to be kind of wrapped over. But again, because of the glove, because of the armor, and because of the uh, gun, there's only so much we're going to get to draw. So see, there's the edge of the gun here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that. There's the first block of the middle of the gun, which is over that handle and over his fingers. So that's all we have to draw. See, we can't really see too much. So we kind of get away with not having to draw everything. But also the downside is that means we kind of have to rely on our skills, you know, our artistic uh, talents to make it look like he's holding the handle of his um, awesome rifle here. Okay, so I'm going to close that off like this. Now, because it's a space gun, because it's, it's you know, a heavy rifle, and because this doesn't exist, we get to do whatever we want. So I'm just going to add a few little space parts, I guess is what we're going to start to call them. So it looks like there's, you know, little, little uh, nuance pieces to the gun that uh, make it a big, big heavy jammer, you know, big mammer jammer. 
Okay, so I'm gonna start adding like little uh, greeblies is what uh, what they call like the extra little parts when they would make weapons. Or you know what, when they make um, spaceships. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm pretty old. So I am around, was around whenever they would make spaceships out of uh, model parts. Like all the first Star Wars and all that stuff. I used to love watching the... Uh, uh, by the way, I'm just going to be building gun stuff here so you can just draw like what I'm drawing or do whatever you want because I'm making it up. Um, whenever they would build the spaceships and Star Wars and stuff like that, they would build it from real parts of... of um, real, like, naval models, Navy ships, you know? And they would put it all together and all the extra little parts that they would put in there all the little extra little bumps and, and wires and all that stuff to make it look like a real functioning thing we call greeblies. Now, where that word came from, I can't remember off the top of my head. I should have researched it before I went in here, but you know what? I didn't think I was going to be talking about it while I was doing this. I, I just thought I was going to be drawing. Um, but, uh, but yeah, those little pieces and parts and extra little nuanced things are called greeblies. So... That's what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just adding greeblies. I'm just adding little extra things that I think are cool and make it look more like a, you know, a weaponized piece of machinery than just a, a stick, you know? <laughs> so, so that's all. That's what I'm doing. Just adding little extra things like that. And I'm, I'm making it up, too. That's the other thing I was going to try to say is uh, the nice thing about this is is... I'm just making this up and adding whatever I want to make it look like a metal piece, you know? So, that being said, we are laying down a lot of groundwork here as to what, uh, what uh, the defined piece is going to be. Okay. How's yours coming out? Awesome. Okay, so sorry I got quiet. I know I try to entertain you all the time whenever we're doing this stuff, because who else is going to be talking to you, you know? Your dog, your cat. Do your dogs and cats talk to you? That's crazy. Okay. So I'm kind of finishing it up. Adding extra little pieces like that to give it that, that end, that end power. And again, coming back in and adding some greeblies, adding some extra, you know, little... Um, touches. And let's see. Yeah, so add what you want, you know, add add little parts. Make your own greeblies. And sometimes, like I just did right there, mix it up. Don't do the same thing all over the place. Because even though this stuff is supposedly manufactured by, you know, um, um, Space Trust, Space League company that puts guns together, um, Super Space. Um, not everything's the same, you know, so just kind of the more you can make it asymmetrical or, or different, the, the more realism you're going to add to it, okay? So, okay, I'm probably spending too much time on this, and I should stop on that because we have our defined space so we're gonna keep going all right so now I'm gonna add he's got like a little um, box on top because there's a handle back here then there's a box on top that kind of swivels with a handle um, and that's how he holds the top part so now we have some defined spots now but the thing is remember we're gonna have to use some foreshortening and whatnot to to show that it's it's a little swiveled box Okay, so something like this, and okay, all right, maybe I'm supposed to walk away from all the details. So, let's finish up what we were doing here. So I'm going to do his chest piece like this, I'm going to add those little parts I was talking about like that, and so he's got a little bit of detail on his armor here, but again, we're kind of covered up by, by, uh, the gun, so we can't add all of it. We can just kind of play around with some. Like that. 
All right, so that means I can do his armor across and over like this, bring it down. That's where it's gonna go back behind his chest. Now his arm, again, because I have it so foreshortened, it's gonna look a little stubby here, but just it's just the way it looks. It's like fingers straight like that, but looking straight at you like this, it looks a little stubbier. So imagine that for that arm. It's a little stubbier from the way we're going. So let's work our way back. So I'm gonna draw his fingers, his hand, like this over. And that's where his knuckles are wrapped around the uh, handle there. And the way I have it, I kind of have like this. Does that make sense? The way his knuckles are? And so that puts his hand wrapped around the handle, okay? His thumb would be inside like that. So that means we are gonna draw his um, forearm piece like this, which has like this little like gun uh, flamethrower thing. And we're gonna add it like this out here, then we're gonna connect to it. It's got kind of a little little uh, uh, aiming piece on there like that. So we'll, we'll, we'll put that out there. So that being said, again, I'm gonna add just a few little uh, metal um, surfaces to make it look a little more uh, um, like armor. Like, why, why? My words don't work right. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so again, uh, cloth bent, creased, and folded. Like this. There's armors again on top. So we're just gonna pretty much do this because it's all bent over, you know? So we're gonna do some sides over like that. And heck, let's go ahead and just draw the underside since it's such a, a flat piece now, since it's not lying on him. And we'll go ahead and just do some more, you know, um, creases and folds of, of material, just like that, just to show how much all creased and bent in that is, okay? So, we're, we're pretty much close to home, home run there. We're just gonna finish this up. And so he's got the little um, feeder going for him right here. So we're gonna do this. I've already sketched it out so I know where I'm going. And it's got this big, uh, uh, thick feel to it that I'm gonna reconnect with um, the sh smaller Sharpie. Just to give it a contrast of where it's connected. Okay, and I'm not gonna finish the rest of it until we finish up his body, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, he's got a belt on, so we'll kind of draw some of that in real fast. That's where his pockets are, where he keeps his uh, snack pack, pudding pack, and juice pops. Okay, and that's on the other side that you can't quite see. We're just gonna draw a few little details in like that. Okay. Now we can draw his chonis. We're gonna draw his armor like this, like that. And so um, now we're just gonna draw his legs, which are, let's see, the material's gonna come out like this, and there is gonna be some creases and folds in that material, like that, because it's all bent in. I'm just throwing lines in there, so don't worry about if you don't draw the exact same lines. I'm just drawing where material's creased, okay? So now I can continue the rest. Let's see, we're gonna draw a little pack down like this. Draw another one down like that. So now I'm gonna draw his armor on his legs. So I'm gonna come up like here, come down like this. I'm gonna come down, come down. And we're gonna come up a little bit in like this. I'm gonna connect any space I don't see connected. Let's go ahead and do this other one over here too. So we're just gonna come down, up, like that and let's go ahead and just connect them just a little bit just like, like we did here we're gonna make surfaces you know just so we have some some uh, detail to add to it okay um, just to give it a, uh, a, a, a hard edge that armor look you know I'm gonna thicken this one up just a little bit, just to 
just to uh, accent that it's a thicker line than that middle nuanced uh, detail like that. Okay, all right, I like that. Okay, so now we're just gonna draw some, some kneecaps. And this one's bent in a little bit. This one you can see a little bit better, so we'll add yeah, just a little bit more detail to it. Again, this one's all bent in, so I'm not worried too much about it. Here we can add a little bit more detail, something like that. Okay, again, this leg is bent in under itself, so there's only so much that we really have to draw. So I'm just gonna kind of come in the leg like that, put the armor in, come in on this side, make it flat right here. And he's got kind of a, like a leg um, protector, like that. So we'll just draw a line like this. Might as well draw a few more little armor lines. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw his shoe. Foot's coming down like this. Something like that. We can add like some Mandalorian uh, Boba Fett shoes is what I like to call them because they, they had those cool lines in them like Boba Fett had. And we'll just go ahead and give them some kind of like um, tread, you know, some big, big old fighting tread, you know? Uh, let's see, so let's finish up this leg. So now we're just gonna do like we did there. We're gonna have just a little bit of, little bit of leg, a little bit of skin showing. I'm gonna bring the armor down. Gonna draw that little piece like we did like that. Bring it in, up, armor, metal. All right, so same thing, just a little bit of, of detail. A little bit of uh, coolness for, for armor. I mean, that's why we're drawing it, right? Because it is the way. All right, and so now let's just finish up this shoe. So we're gonna come in here like this. Underside like that, and again, well, we'll do some of that tread. You know, different angles, so you can't quite see it all, you know? All right, so now, same thing, I'm just going to draw a little bit of that. That uh, old Boba Fett tread is what we'll call it. All right, I am incredibly happy with that. I hope yours came out awesome, too. I say, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I see some spots that we didn't finish, so I'm not 100% happy, am I? All right, always got to finish up what you started. That wraps around to the back of his, woo, his little piece in the back like that that you can't quite see, but we're going we're gonna to draw that in his little backpack thing that it feeds all this, you know? And I think there's one on the other side. I think it, it kind of goes from there to there. Eh, 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 you know what, that's good. I say we take care of the rest with color. I'm super happy with that. I say that's super awesome. I hope yours came out great too. That is the heavy armored Mandalorian from The Mandalorian. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.